Former worship leader and Christian artist Michael Gungor sparking some huge backlash with a post he put out on social media on July 23rd comparing Jesus to, well, everybody. We're going to get into all the details, guys. Stick with me. Off the top, let me mention, if you would like to make a generous donation to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. As we are demonetized here on YouTube, they don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon set up for you down below. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon, you get bonus content. We also include the links for the YouTube videos to make sure you get alerted every time new content arrives. Then when you're there, why not just comment on the video, censorship free, avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments that you guys write. Also, make sure you sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. So go check out what we're posting there. All the links are down below. Then please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Michael Gungor, he was a part of the Christian group called Gungor. Him and his wife, Elisa, they had success uh, in the early 2010s. Kind of... It's weird to say the early 2010s. Look how far we've gone with time now at this point. But he was the worship pastor for a former megachurch there in Michigan before he ended up leaving there. And, and him and his wife had felt kind of distant from the church and from God. They ended up moving to Colorado, uh, where now they do this uh, in-home worship group called Bloom that they do uh, every Sunday now. Uh, but this post uh, that... <laughs> that Gungor put out uh, this past uh, July 23rd, said this and compared Jesus saying that Jesus is, Jesus is Buddha. Jesus is Mohammed. Jesus is all these other gods promoting this message of universalism. You know, this is very familiar, what we've heard from a lot of other Christian artists that have now said that they have deconstructed from the faith. Uh, one that comes to mind most recently was Kevin Max from DC Talk. I did a whole video about him a couple of months ago and how he's been deconstructing for years. Now he believes in the universal Christ. Uh, Gungor putting this out knowing that it was going to spark backlash. Look, and he's a heretic for saying this. You don't ever sit there and compare Jesus and say he is the same as Muhammad or the same as Buddha. No. Those are false gods you shouldn't even be mentioning them in the same category or discussion as jesus they're not on that level but gungor wants to promote this universalism type of a message because he wants to bring forth these conversations and discussions that we can have what what discussion is there to have what if, if you do not know by now that jesus is the one true Christ. He is above all other gods. Now, I don't know what you're doing. I, I don't know how you're even labeling yourself a worship, you know, leader, director. You got this, you know, Sunday service that you do, this in-home ministry called Bloom. By the way, somebody here in Gungor, it was said that he actually ended up a couple years ago, spent about a year embracing atheism. Oh, so no wonder. These comments are now coming out with him comparing Jesus to all of these other false gods. Also a pastor's kid, so unfortunately, a lot of them end up turning out and going the route of Gungor. Not all of them, but some do, unfortunately. He has gotten himself off the path of truth. He has fallen for deception. He was encouraging people also uh, in the tweet, even went on Instagram vid and did an Instagram live video, encouraging him to read this book he was promoting about universalism and just saying, look, we can open up things a little bit and, and said that when he was younger, you know, who he had to ask himself, you know, what, what does Christ really mean? And sometimes it just seemed like it was Jesus's last name. But this is a doctrine that is very dangerous because see these people, these worship leaders, these Christian artists like a Michael Gungor, they have a following. And this got a lot of reaction from people. I'm happy to, to, you know, to see that a lot of it was people basically coming against him for this, thankfully. But a lot of them too embraced it. And that's what worries me because you got these people that look to people like Gungor as spiritual leaders or mentors and they, and it's sad to say this, but they hang on every single word that they say and they'll buy into it. Maybe they were somebody that was actually walking a righteous path with Christ in their walk with him, but then 
they listen to this nonsense coming from Gungor, and all of a sudden they allow that junk to filter in through their ear. And they start to buy into it. They start to believe it. You know, Gungor also mentioned that a lot of this was just was confusing and, and everything, trying to figure out who Jesus was. Well, who is the author of confusion? Oh, that's the devil. That's Satan, who is working very hard right now to deceive many. And the Bible talks about in the last days it would be a great falling away that would take place. Many who were believers would fall away from the faith. Oh. Is that what we're seeing happen here? How many artists, pastors, worship leaders have we seen this happen to in the last several years? Too many for me to mention here in this video. I've covered a lot of it here on the channel. And I'm afraid it's not going to be the end of it either. Gungor is wrong for his comments and he needs to seriously repent for it because obviously judging by these comments this isn't somebody who's really walking with christ he better repent and rededicate his life to the true jesus and stop embracing these lies of the enemy like he's doing i'm gonna put the full tweet everything down below in the description you guys can check it out but look this is why we do these videos we talk about the prophetic news headlines that are going on around the world because, look, here's the thing. We are in the last days. I mean, Jesus is coming back soon. The signs could not be any more clear. People like Gungor aren't going to tell you that, okay? They're going to tell you that. But it's all happening. We want to make sure that you are saved, that you have Christ in your life. And here's how you do it. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. Now, we all are. But God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He's paid the cost. But what you have to do is you have to repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from that sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but you have to actively repent from a lifestyle or a habit. Whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Now, trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will put more, like I said for you guys, on Michael Gungor, the comments that he made here about Jesus, comparing him to other false gods down below. Also, don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing and you can help us there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.